Alas, we've made it to the weekend and some warmer weather. Alas, yes, finally, Lisa, after several days, five in a row of below average temperatures, finally stretching back up to above average in some spots, upper 60s, even touching the low 70s. And tomorrow, temperatures once again in the 70s, and we keep things warm all the way through midweek next week. Beautiful uh, pictures coming in of all of the fall foliage. It's a perfect time of year to enjoy that fall foliage, and with this beautiful weather, it makes it even better for leaf peeping. Bill from Nescapec sent this one in from Luzerne County of those rolling hills with oranges and yellows and a blaze in red. And that's because most of our region is under best color right now, from central Pennsylvania all the way down to the southern tier, Luzerne, Lackawanna, and Wyoming counties all in best color peak of the fall season. Some of our locations already past that peak starting to fade in color for Bradford and Susquehanna counties down through Wayne and Pike counties. Those are the first counties to have seen the peak in the color. So now starting to fade away, but nonetheless, beautiful colors coming out from all the other counties, including Monroe County. This is Mountain Springs Lake Resort in Monroe County, and we got beautiful colors surrounding this lake. And we are just 13 days away from Halloween. So we're seeing the changes in the colors. We're seeing the decorations being put up across the area. And this one came in from Robert with lots of pumpkins littering his front lawn. Lots of inflatables too. Looks very ghoulicious there. Love that, what you sent in. Thank you so much. And keep sending in those through the WNEP app near me section. And when you do so, include your name and where you're from so that I can give you credit here on the forecast. Temperatures this morning were chilly. Woke up to the 30s once again, but nobody in Scranton was worried about the freezing mark once again. Yesterday, we woke up to 32 first time since April the 25th. I don't think we're going to see the freezing mark again for another seven days. We're going to be well above freezing for overnight lows from now on. Tonight, in the upper 30s, and then once we go into your overnight Saturday into Sunday in the 40s, and by the time we get to midweek next week, we could be having overnight lows in the 50s. Much needed warm up after all those cool temperatures. Nearly hit 70 today for Williamsport, 68 for Avoca, 63 in Mount Pocono, and 69 was the high for Sealands Grove. Now at 70 in Lock Haven, that's the hot spot on the map. Lopez at 59, that's normally the cooler spot on our map. Got down to the 20s overnight last night. 68 in Lehighton, 69 for Sailorsburg, 66 in Stroudsburg. We're up a widespread 5 to 10 degrees warmer than we were just 24 hours ago at this time. Winds are low, anywhere from 8 to 9, uh, it's really calm to 9 miles per hour, so less than 10 mile per hour winds, not really a factor in making us feel any chillier. That warm sun is definitely doing its job. Clear skies to continue to enjoy that warm sun, and that's the way it is up and down the eastern seaboard. We are under this strong ridge of high pressure, and this will just develop and build as we go towards the weekend even through the weekend and towards next week too. This high pressure remaining in control, steering away this coastal low that's going to cause some coastal flooding problems for places like New Jersey and Long Island because of the high tide in conjunction with the full moon kind of enhancing the high tide. We're not going to be dealing with any of that coming off of that coastal low. We are completely dominated by this high pressure. It's like a dome steering all of the moisture up and over us. And that's why on your future cast, we have no activity, absolutely no cloud cover for the next 48 hours. Your Saturday looks fantastic for outdoor activities. If you're going pumpkin picking or apple picking with the family, looks great. And it looks good for a dog walk too this evening. This is Squeaks from Brett. Thank you for sending Squeaks in. Says Mommy's Pumpkin. I can't tell which one's cuter. I think Squeaks. Tonight, not a bad night to walk your pup. Just once you get past around 10 o'clock, you might need that extra layer to keep warm. There's your seven day forecast. Temperatures in the 70s steadily all the way through Wednesday of next week. Lisa, our next shot for some rainfall isn't until Wednesday night into Thursday morning. That's when a cold front rolls through and drops temperatures back down to average. So we got a long stretch of weather, dry and sunny to look forward to. And we will just enjoy that sunshine and worry about the rain later. Absolutely. All right, Jeremy, thank you. Yep.